Okay, now let's do an example. <laughs> Who wants to read it? <clears throat> the small clip Krypton CR102 flashlight bulb is rated at 2.4 volts and 0.7 amperes. It is roughly spherical in shape with a diameter of about one centimeter. For the calculation online below, ignore the metal base and assume the bulb radiates over its entire spherical surface. Find. Oh, I did. I forgot to write fine. <laughs> so let's first look at this picture. So if I look at this picture, what does that tell me? Notice one thing. Do you see this, this here? The textbooks, some of them use small W for your solid angle. The reason why I don't like using it because we also use W for something else. Yeah. What? And that got and that gets me really confused all the time. So I immediately replace it with that for me. But I left the picture in because you know I just wanted you to know that that could happen to you. Okay, so number one, and then it's saying that this is my source, right? This is what is radiating. And it's an isotropic source. What is an isotropic source? It radiates equally on all sides. Think of it as a sun. Well, will this bulb actually be an isotropic bulb? No, because there is a shadow here, right? Where it won't actually emit anything. But ignore that fact. Okay, and then there's an eye. That's where we are. So our solid angle is here. That's our solid angle. Remember an angle is in one 2D, a solid angle is actually in 3D. We're trying to draw 3D into 2D. So think of this as a, as a solid angle going outwards this way. So what's number one? What does it want us to find? The radiant flux. And the radiant flux definition is phi E. But it doesn't give me much. It does give me a voltage and in a current. So here's the trick. Radiant flux is given in what? Do we know from intro to the definition on how we can get watts if we're given V and I? Power. And power is IV. So phi E. Since it's given in watts, and watts I know is unit of power, and I am given I and V, knowing these two things, how do I find phi? I multiply I and V. So that will be, what was I? 0 0.7 amps. And what was V? 2.4 volts. Somebody do the math. 1.68. Thank you. 1.68 what? One. Thank you. Okay, part B. Radian intensity. I.e., what was the formula? Was it something like this? So now we are going to assume that it will be all of four pi. Remember it said that it was an isotropic source? So what will be the total solid angle? Four pi. So have you ever wondered where the area of a sphere was a four pi r squared? Why was it four pi? It's because it's all over the sphere, everywhere. So if you do two pi, it's a circle, right? How do you make the two pi go everywhere? Make it four pi. That's why the area of the sphere is four pi, the surface area of a sphere. So anyway, what would this become? For the total area, right? It will become the total flux divided by the total solid angle. So this would be what? 1.68 watts divided by four pi, and the unit will be steradians. Uh, Wait, what was it? 0.134. 0. 0. What? Snails? Steradians. That's the S one. 
I can't say words. Watch over, yeah, that one. Watch over steridians. Yeah. Part C. What is it asking us? The radiant exitant. Radiant exitant. What is radiant exitant, guys? The amount emitted from the source. Very good. What is the what is the source in this case? And what did we say about the light bulb that it emits isotropically? So it will emit from all directions. And what is what if it's emitting from all directions? It's going to be a sphere moving outward. So what's the area? Oh, so sorry. So first of all, let's write the formula down. The formula was ME over DA. What would be the DA for this case? Continue. R squared. There we go. 4 pi R squared. Excellent. So the total will be pi E over 4 pi R squared. And what's the R? So no, one centimeter is the? So what would be the R? There we go. Good job. Point, oh, actually, 0.5 centimeters need to be converted to? Meters. Meters. Okay, so somebody tell me the answer. So it'll be 1.68 divided by 4 pi, 0 0.5 divided by 100 squared. 5,347. Ah, ignore that. 0.6. <laughs> I'm going to ignore the 0. 0.6 in front of the 5,000. Yes. Uh, the question asks for watts per centimeter. Oh, it does? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Dr. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not have the question in front of me. Convert, leave it in centimeters then. Well, now I see. <laughs> it's okay. I did it in centimeters. So. Okay. <laughs> so what would it be in centimeters? That is the answer in centimeters. I did it in centimeters. Zero point five three four. Oh. Thank you, Ian, for picking that. Okay, next one. Radiance in, okay, this is also centimeters for radians. Okay, number D. One more time. Number D. There you go. It is called radiance, right? Now it's asking us for radiance. So what's the radiance of the ball? What's the symbol for it? L and what's the formula? D phi over D A and the solid angle? This is square of them. Oh, and cosine. Just call it zero. What? The cosine of zero. Then shouldn't D phi be squared? Because we, it, let's consider that to be the same wherever it is. So it's this, it's straight across. So you'll just have, for the total one, it'll just be A times the total 4 pi. So this will just be 1.68 divided by 4 pi R squared times 4 pi for the total. Somebody give me the answer in the right numbers and I'll accept it. Um, yes, R will be still 0.5 because we're still talking about the bulk. 0 0.043. 0 0.043 uh, watts over centimeters squared. Stiradians. Okay, good.